Hello everybody. My name is Sagar Janeja. I'm working at Chitkara University. And in this quick video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the IEEE uh, conference paper format. Actually, in IEEE conference, it is a responsibility of the author to ensure that the final camera ID paper is in 100% uh, as per the IEEE format for publication. Now, based on my experience of organizing five IEEE conferences, I have uh, realized that authors, in spite of the fact that the uh, format is available on IEEE website, they don't understand and uh, go through the format very, very carefully. And as a result, there are so many formatting issues we as conference organizers face when we are going through the camera ID papers. And as a result, there are many iterations that happen. So this quick video, uh, in this quick video, I will give you a quick walkthrough uh, of the uh, IEEE format and uh, will explain you that how you should go about, you know, formatting your paper. So the first thing is you should go to the margin. Now, if you go to margin, you will see that these are the guidelines for the margin. You should set your paper uh, margin st strictly as per this, you know, uh, uh, figures that are written here. And the paper should be this, right? The size of the paper. Other important thing is width of the columns. Now, if you see, it's a two column format IEEE paper. And if you see the width of the column, this is exactly 3.38 and the spacing is exactly 0.25 inches. In some of the papers, we have noticed that this spacing is too much. As a result, this spacing become too much and the paper looks a little odd, right? So you should take care of that. That is first thing. Now coming to paper title. Now this is a style in which the paper title should be written. And this bracket is telling you that this is a style. Now authors sometimes get confused and they use this style and they write the title of the paper in the title uh, in the sentence case. So please understand this is a style of writing the paper title, right? 24 point font and you should be very careful about this spacing. So spacing it says auto. So uh, this, this is it. Now this uh, sentence you should delete and when you delete it, you go backspace. So this is a spacing after the paper title. So after the paper title and between, uh, you know, uh, author name, this is a spacing. This is a correct format. Now what happens is authors see that, you know, after deleting this, sometimes they uh, see, uh, uh, put the spacing, uh, you know, this much, which looks a little odd. So please understand when you're deleting that sentence. So this is a spacing which should be there, right? Now coming to writing the author's name. Now if there are multiple authors in the paper, what authors generally do is they put a table and then they put the names of the authors. Don't do that. What you do is you write uh, the names of the authors in the single column and then use uh, the option of making multiple columns. Like in this, see, if you see this more column, you will see three columns are there. Why three columns? Because there are six authors so you cannot put six authors in, in, in the single column. So that's why three column and then there are two rows. So you should understand that, right? Similarly, if there are two authors in your paper, then you should use, uh, select that and you should use two columns, right? Now, what will happen if there are four authors in the paper? So what author does is they write three authors, you know, here in the same format, fourth author here, and these two, they leave blank. Now this will look very odd. So if there are four authors in the paper, what you should do, you should put two in, uh, in, in the first row and two in the next row, and you should put them in the center so that the paper should look uniform. That, that is very important. The formatting of the paper should look 100% correct. Then only you will get readership. Then only you will get citation. That will give the, that will give the first impression whether the paper is, if, if the paper is not in the correct format, right? Uh, the first impression will not be good. You understand that, right? Now you see the abstract or in, in fact, all the paragraphs of uh, the paper should start with the indentation and the indentation is exactly 0.2. You see this, the first line indentation is exactly 0.2 and all new paragraphs are indented. So you should be very careful about this, right? Abstract is written in nine point font. You see this and the line spacing is exactly single line. Right. And this abstract word itself is bold and it is uh, italics also. Right. If you select this abstract, it is bold and italic. 
And after the abstract, the spacing is exactly 10 point. You see this? It is exactly 10 point. So between abstract and keyword. So you should be careful about all these small, small things. Right. Similarly, keywords is all in a nine point font, bold and italic, and all the keywords are written in the small case. So you should be careful about this. And after the keywords, also the spacing is like six point. So after abstract, the spacing was 10 point. After keyword, the spacing is six point. So, you, so these things are important. You should be careful about this. Now coming to headings, the main headings are in title case and in small caps. Now, some authors don't understand the meaning of small caps and they put the heading in all caps, right? Which is not correct. So what is the meaning of small caps? You, you go here and you uh, uh, untick this small cap, you will see the title, uh, the heading in the title case, right? I capital and then all are small. And then if you, if you put a small caps, so I will remain a little, you know, bigger in font and other uh, characters will be smaller. This is the meaning of small caps. So all the main headings should be small caps and they should be in Romans, right? Similarly, uh, if you see all the subheadings, so subheadings are in title case, italics, and it should be like A, B, C, and so on. And there is no format for sub subheading. So in a way, uh, you should avoid putting sub subheadings. Right. So that is uh, that is another important uh, thing that you should keep in mind. Uh, uh, there should not be too many levels of headings in the in the paper. Now coming to the paragraph spacing again, select the paragraph and see the spacing. It is exactly 0.95 the line spacing and the uh, spacing after the paragraph is six points. So you should be careful about all these things. Right. Um, very important. Each paper, each conference paper should have a copyright notice and the conference organizer should give you this copyright notice that what should be put, right? It, it is, it varies from conference to conference in which year it is happening and things like that. So copyright notice should come on the footer of only first page, not on all the pages. Okay. Some conferences also tell you to put header of the conference name on the first page. So that should also come on the first page only. See, if you see the paper, it doesn't say the conference name, right? So some conferences or today most conferences tell you to put the paper uh, name of the conference as a header, okay, on the first page. So you should put that only on the first page and the formatting should be exactly same as the uh, formatting of this footer. So it is uh, Times New Roman 10 point font. It should be exactly like this, right? Now, one important thing, at toward the end of the uh, introduction section, we write generally write the organization of the paper. That section two is going to talk about this, section three is going to talk about this, and things like that. Now, since your headings are in Roman, so you should write section two, section three also in Roman. For example, if let, let us say my introduction is head, ending here, and I need to write the organization of my paper, so I'll write section two. We'll talk about. We'll talk about this, 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 section three, we'll talk about this, this, this. You should not write section uh, two, section three, and so on like this. You understand? It should be Roman, right? Because your headings are in Roman. So this, this is again one of the common mistake uh, mistakes that we see in the conference paper. Now coming to uh, 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 in, including figures and tables. Again, very important. Uh, figure caption should be, I'll show you, eight point font justified. And this is the spacing, four point before the figure, uh, before the caption, like, uh, and 10 point after the figure caption. You see the spacing, right? 10. So after the figure caption, the spacing is 10 point, And then the next paragraph is uh, starting. And before the figure caption, where your figure will come, the, the spacing is four point. You should be careful about this. And the nomenclature is FYG dot one dot, then figure caption in sentence case. Sentence case meaning first character of the first word will be capital, remaining all will be smaller. And then ending it with a full stop. And when you're citing the figure in the text, you should write FIG.1. You should not write full figure. For example, if I want to cite figure one here, I will write as 
shown in figure one this is this right you should not write as shown in uh, you know figure one the complete word you should not write or you should not write like this as shown in fig because the it should exactly match the caption like this okay so this is important thing other thing is table caption not table caption is again eight point but it is center aligned and it is again small caps and table captions are written in uh, you know roman like table one two three so it should be cited like this so for example if i want to cite table one here i will write as shown in table one now please note table is written in the uh, in all caps here so in text it should be written in the title case only you should not write here in all caps that is very important right uh, equations as you can see the equation numbers are right aligned so you should uh, do like that and when you are citing the equation in the text you again should use like this it is written and all the equations all the figures all the tables must be cited in the text if you are including any uh, figure any table in the in the paper that must be cited why i am re-emphasizing this point because we witness papers where you know uh, authors are not citing the figures and they are including it and authors are not citing the tables they are including it now this brings us bring me to a very important point about the references when you are including references in your paper all references must be cited and all references must be cited in order meaning reference number one should come first then reference numbers two three four five six and so on and once you have cited a particular reference that can come again for example you have cited reference number one two three four five and then again you want to cite reference number two that is okay but after reference number five you cannot straight away cite reference number 10 that is incorrect so all reference should be cited and they should be cited in the order and the format of citing the reference is square bracket number right square bracket so it should come before full stop so square bracket number right so after two i cannot cite reference number let us say i want to cite a reference number here i cannot cite reference number four here because i have not cited three yet so it should be three right so this is very important now coming to how the references should be written so this is a format of writing the uh, references and one more thing references is also a heading but it is not preceded with a number so for example all other headings for example if i show you this so this heading is preceded with a roman number four right so references is also a heading a same format as heading but it is not preceded with any number a roman number so this is important some authors all put uh, you know number before the reference uh, references heading also which is incorrect same is true with the acknowledgement if you are including in, in your paper and acknowledgement is not uh, is uh, is not mandatory to include that is a choice okay but references definitely you have to include and this is a format of writing the references so first name so first character like my name is sagar juneja so it should be s dot juneja comma second author name uh, and third author name if the if there are three authors if there are six or more authors in the paper then you can write you can replace all the other author name and you can write it all so that happens if there are more than six authors in the paper right and this is this i wrote incorrectly it is it all right this is a format the full stop should come after al right it all right so this is the right format of writing it all uh, some some authors also write it all incorrectly they put full stop here also some authors put here and they do, they don't put after all so the correct format is it space all al and then uh, there should be a full stop like this right paper title in the in the uh, reference should be in sentence case meaning it should the first word should be uh, first character should be capital lest all are uh, small right now you you may ask that why b is capital because it's a proper noun right it's a name of the person actually uh, uh, right so that can be capital but otherwise paper title should be in sentence case sentence case i'm talking about uh, any journal paper or a conference paper then there should be a name of the journal or a name of the conference 
followed by volume number in the same format vol dot. Uh, if there's an issue number also, you write issue number also in this format, followed by page number. Writing a month is optional, so you can as well uh, you know remove it. And so this is an exact format of writing a reference for a conference paper or a journal paper. It should have a volume number, it should have an issue number, it should have a page number and this. Now conferences generally don't have volume number. Some of the conferences don't have volume number and issue number. That's okay. Then you can simply write name of the conference or maybe the publisher. Like for example, if if if, if it's an IEEE conference. So our, let us say there is a conference, like I do one conference which is called uh, VCon, right? So I will write uh, name of the paper, right? And if uh, it is published in uh, VCon, so I'll write the name of the conference, let us say VCon, right? Comma, uh, IEEE, because it is published by IEEE or it's a IEEE conference, and then page number of the paper, and then the year. You can also write the full form of the conference, like it is it is World Engineering Conference uh, on, Compute, uh, on Com Contemporary Technology, this is a full form. So you can as well write the full form. Ideally, you should write the full form. Right. So this is how the conference paper or the journal paper should be cited. Then there is a format of citing the book. So you should use exactly the same format. See, for example, citing the book. So when you're citing the book, you should write the uh, title of the book in title case. And there's no double quotes. So these are the format which should be strictly followed. Now, here is a uh, word of uh, caution for you. Most authors use uh, today, you know, EndNote or Mendeley for formatting references. And they assume that EndNote and Mendeley will do it 100% correctly. So they don't, uh, you know, recheck the references list. This They believe that since it is done, since the references list has been prepared by Mendeley or, you know, EndNote, it is correct. That is not true. They also, you know, uh, uh, those lists generated from uh, EndNote, Mendeley or like, uh, or related software, they miss some points, right? Some of the fields are missing in those references. So you should check each and every reference carefully and reformat them. References is one area where we find major issues in, in the paper, right? So rest, the, uh, the uh, template is actually self-explanatory, but the only thing is you should pay little more attention uh, when you are, uh, you know, using this format, each and everything should be taken care of because as I said in the beginning of the video that as per the, uh, in IEEE conferences, it is a responsibility of the authors to uh, ensure that the paper is 100% correct in as far as formatting is concerned. And as far as English language is concerned and other things are concerned, so you should, uh, you know, make sure that your paper is free from all typographical errors, all grammatical errors. So that is your responsibility, right? So thank you very much for your patience. Uh, I'm signing off now. Thank you.